right, Algebra 1, Lesson 87. This one is on more on systems of equations and then tests for functions. Okay, we've learned these previously, um, but I want to teach you one last thing. Um, RE, the rate of Eli, with the time of Eli, equals the rate of Wayne times the time of Wayne. Okay, so that's what those subscripts mean, or just people's names and things like that, okay? Now, they tell us that RE equals 200. They tell me that RW equals 250. And then they tell me that TE plus TW equals 9. Now, they want to know, find TE and find TW. Now, this doesn't seem that much different than what we were doing. Um, so all we're going to have to do is I'm going to have to either figure out what TE is from this equation or TW. And I'm just going to want to do TE since it's written first. So I'm going to get this plus TW on the other side and that'll at least tell us what TE is. TE is 9 minus Bring in the plus over and it comes just to a minus, minus TW. So all I'm doing is answering what one of them is. Okay, and I could even have done TW equals 9 minus TE, whichever, it doesn't matter. Okay, and so now I'm going to go in and put, I know this one, I know this one, and I know this one. Okay, and so let's go ahead and put this one in. 200 <coughs> times, and we know that TE is this, so I'm going to want to put that in parentheses, then minus TW, since it's all of that for that. So this times this, so this times this, equals, and then um, RW is 250, okay, and then um, we don't know TW, so TW, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's go, 200 times 9, 1800 minus 200 TW equals 250 TW. Okay, and so now I'm going to want to get the TWs on one side and the numbers on the other side. And since the numbers on this side, I'm going to want to put the TWs on this side. So this minus 200 TW goes across the equal and it becomes plus 200 TW. Okay, mm -hmm. and now I have 1800 equals. And I'm going to go in and add our like terms, 250 TWs plus 200 TWs is like 250 dogs plus 200 dogs. Um, so this would be 450 dogs. Okay? And now, so that since it says 450 times TW, we want to get just TW by itself. So this times 450 is going to become divided by 450 when we move it across the equals. And so then TW equals... 180 divided by 45, TW equals 4. Okay? So that would be our answer. Got it? Now, this TW equals 4, we're not done because they wanted us to find TE and TW. So what we're going to do is take our TW, which equals 4, and up here, I'm going to go and change TW to equal 4. Right? And so now it says TE plus 4 equals 9. Well, now I'm going to try to get this by itself to figure out what TE is. So now I'm going to take this plus 4, make it minus 4, and TE equals 5. Okay? So we know what RE is, we know what RW is, we know what TE is, and we know what TW is. So we figured it all out. These are the two we wanted to know, so we figured them out. Okay? Not that much difference than what we've been doing. Okay? So... Um, there you go. I'm trying to see if the next one is any different. Um, let's go on and set up the next one. Um, I don't think there's any need in doing it again. Um, this says R1 T1 equals, no, plus, this may be where we're needing to fix it. So plus R2 T2 equals 300. 60. 360. All right. Now they tell us R1, I I'm just, it says it on the side on page 368 what R1 is. So R1 is 30, okay? And then they tell us R2 is 40. 
and then they tell us T1 plus T2 equals 10. And they want us to find T1 and T2. That's what we're trying to figure out. Okay, so I'm going to an answer for T1. You could answer for T2. I just always do the first one. So I'm going to move this plus T2 over here. So this says T1 equals 10 minus T2. So then it tells us what T1 is. So T1 is 10. We'll put it in parentheses since it's a big problem. That. And then it's got this plus right here. So I'm just bringing the plus down. And then R2 is 40. And then we don't know what T2 is. So I'm going to leave it as T2. And then equals 360. Okay? Now, um, remember, anytime you're doing things like this, you're going to follow the PEMDAS rules. So we have to do our multiplications and all that first before we start rearranging and all that. So 30 times 10, 300. 30 times negative T2 becomes a negative 30 T2. So I'm going to put a plus negative. All right, now I'm just going to bring everything else down. Plus 40 T2 equals 360. All right, now since these are like terms, I'm going to want to add those. And so negative 30 plus 40 becomes 10 T2. And then we've got 300 plus equals 360. Now I'm going to get my numbers on one side. So I'm going to take this plus 300 and make it minus 300. And so 10 T2 equals 60. And then 10 times we're going to divide by 10. And so T2 equals 6. All right, we would go up here to this one. And since T2 is 6, um, we could put it into this one or this one. It doesn't matter. So let's just put it in this one. T2 is 6. And so T1 is 4. T1, 4. T2, 6. That's what we need to answer. Now, um, all right, we're moving to a different line. This takes literally five seconds. So um, this next one is real simple, and it's on test for functions. And so, and so um, what I want you to see, I'm going to go ahead and draw two of them up here since we can see two of them. Okay, so we're going to determine, here's what it says, determine if the graph shown represents the graph of a function. Does this graph represent a function? That's what it's asking. Okay, now the first graph, something similar to that. Okay, and the second graph, okay. <clears throat> now, the way you tell if it's a function is if a vertical line only goes through one intersection. So you see this line right here? It intersects this line one time, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it intersects, if you want to write this down, a function means that it intersects, yes, <laughs> intersects, yes, intersects, um, one point, I guess you could say it at one point. Let me see how I wrote it. Um, if the vertical line crosses through just one point, so crosses, so I'm going to put vertical line crosses through one point. Okay? And another way you could see is that you do not have, there are no multiple intersections where they cross. Okay, so as you can see, this is my vertical line. How many times did it cross through this um, graphing of this line? One time. Now, I could also go, okay, if I draw one over here, how many times does it cross? One time. If I draw a line here, how many times does it cross through this? One time. So no matter where I draw my vertical line, I'm only crossing one time. This is a function. Okay? That one is a function. All right, this one. My vertical line crossed through one, two, three, four lines. No, not a function. That's pretty much all you have to know. Um, that's all you have to know for that. So just check and see. Okay, and I'll show you one more graph that's on the, the lesson because it can be kind of confusing. So let's look at this one together. It goes like this. 
Okay, does it cross through? Yes, one, two. So, no, it's not a function. Another one that they're gonna have, um, for example, uh, could have, now this one's kind of confusing because it goes up, down, up. Okay, now this may, you may think, yes, um, this is gonna um, cross through several times, but no matter where I cross through, this line crosses through one, that's it. Here, one, right there at that point, right here at this point, okay? No matter where I do it, I cross through just one point. So yes, this one is a function as well. And this actually came up like this a little bit. So no matter where we drew a line through, it would just cross through one point, okay? And this one went out a little bit more. No matter where I cross through, it just has one point. All right, so this one is a function as well because it just crosses through one point.